The power of our weapons could win the military battle in Kosovo. But the peace can only be won by the human heart. Obviously, you know, as a combat brigade, um, once the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan were happening, you know, we really thought we were going to go there. Um, we ended up getting the Kosovo mission. Um, but I think what we dealt with here and the processes that we had to go through to, um, especially with the rioting and, and adapting the mission on the fly, there's no question that what we went through here in 2004 better prepared us as individuals and teams and units um, for other missions that we assumed in, in Afghanistan, Iraq in the future. Been in since 1983. I was here in uh, 2004 with K-45B. My role as the uh, operations sergeant for the uh, R RC East. I've been to uh, Kuwait in 2001, Afghanistan in 2010, or Kosovo, and then Afghanistan and back here. So it's time to retire. That's been a good experience. I'm glad, you know, I got in. You know, when I first got in in the 80s, we are always thinking, you know, we're training for what? Right? I mean, you're not going to ever go to war or go to do anything. So it's kind of like playing football but never playing the game is the way I analyze it. And then, uh, so when you did have to play the game, it was, it was a good experience. Great organization, a lot of camaraderie. And I think the brigade does a good job during division warfires and JRTC, you know, setting the conditions. Like, so when you come to a training event like this, you know, you're going to be expected to work hard and understand what's going on in a fast pace. So the other two deployments I have were as a, a working in the battle desk current operations uh, in Iraq for the uh, Mong uh, 133 deployment. Uh, and just the preparation I got on this deployment helped me get the mindset for that long deployment in Iraq. Uh, we are very proficient in what we do. We have great camaraderie and teamwork, uh, and we understand our mission. I was glad to start my deployment experiences here in Kosovo and learn the ropes and then take it on to uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, glad that I wear the uh, Red Bull on both, uh, both sleeves. Saying you're from Iowa, saying you're from the 34th ID, Iowa National Guard, um, is guaranteed to elicit a very positive response from people around here. Um, I, I will tell you, I've seen it in the Ministry of Defense. It's got the Kosovo flag, the U.S. flag, the Iowa flag, then a bunch of other government's flags. And it just infuriates other governments because that's not where the Iowa flag belongs. But they like, Amer they like Iowans that much. How is Kosovo different from 2004 and 2021 and Afghanistan in 2010? Uh, you know, the big thing is that uh, we don't have an enemy at the gates. Uh, Kosovo is a place where if you're trying to figure out who our competitor are, or if you're trying to figure out who the enemy is, there really isn't one here. Um, in 2010, there were, there were bad people doing bad things, and that's just really not what's happening in Kosovo. Um, you know, the, for me personally, I was the uh, squadron intelligence officer for the CAB in Afghanistan in 2010, and very much dealing with how, how do we uh, foster an environment where things get better. That was a much more complex process um, than it was uh, in, in either time I was in Kosovo. Uh, coming to Kosovo, Kosovo is not a, um, it's not a kinetic operation. It's not guns drawn, it's not field artillery, it's not close air support, you know. It is much more about um, reaching across the aisle, making friends, building relationships, um, which I think the National Guard is uniquely uh, developed to do. The National Guard is pretty unique when it comes to being able to adapt to different missions, whether that's peacekeeping or combat. Um, we have such an array of, of capabilities within our formation of things other than the, the Army um, that we tend to lean on pretty heavily uh, when it comes especially to peacekeeping missions. Um, you know, we have teachers, we have farmers, we have 
uh, lawyers, we have, you know, you think of any occupation in the civilian world that we, you could have, and we have that in our brigade. And it's, it provides us a really unique opportunity to leverage those experiences um, against a peacekeeping mission, most specifically, where you're, where you're trying to help build a society and, and help them learn and grow, where we can have teachers talk to teachers and uh, farmers talking to farmers. So I think the National Guard, and specifically our, our brigade, is pretty, you know, we can be highly successful in a peacekeeping mission because of that kind of uh, maturity and diversity of our formation. Part of the mission here is uh, simply uh, deterrent, to be a deterrent presence. Uh, however, uh, it's not enough to just sit back and allow yourself to be a deterrent. Uh, it's much more rewarding and it's much more useful. Uh, you accomplish the mission more fully and successfully by doing the most you possibly can to improve the environment, to form relationships with the local population, uh, to form relationships with the Serbian Armed Forces as we conduct patrols with them, uh, just to, to do the most that you possibly can to get the most out of the mission. I've done uh, a CONUS deployment uh, providing security, I've done 2K4 deployments, and I've done a combat deployment. I've done those things as a commander and also uh, twice as a staff officer. Uh, and so uh, what motivates me most is uh, the ultimate dichotomy of mission first and people always. I love the, the, the training, the preparation, and the execution of operations. Uh, just the, the operations process uh, is, is very enjoyable to me, but at the same time, uh, probably the, the biggest motivator to me is the relationships that I've formed. And uh, I would say that the, the best friends that I have in the whole world uh, are all in the United States Army, uh, and most of them in the Iowa Army National Guard. And uh, I would say that it's really an honor and a privilege to be a member of what I consider the best uh, brigade combat team in the Army National Guard. Uh, it, it really is um, rewarding, I would say, to be a part of this brigade because of the, the history and culture of excellence that we have. Serving alongside uh, my brothers and sisters in this uniform, doing the things we do, uh, that, that is primarily what motivates me to, to keep going and keep serving.